Okie dokie, right, I've got the uh, pictures from Grant, so let's see what these are about, eh? Right, so I've just um, opened them up in Lightroom, um, you don't need to go out and buy Lightroom, I'm a professional photographer, so, you know, I have this at my disposal, but yeah, don't, don't kind of rush out. Right, so looking at this, um, we've got this light here, we went to this corner because it was uh, the only place in home fair where there was no weirdos i think so yeah safe corner so instead of taking pictures of this building which everyone else seemed to be doing grant's kind of gone for a macro and he's gone to gone right okay how else can i use this environment what's got nice light what could be interesting so he's kind of chosen these berries and if you'll zoom in it's all in focus it's really good um so it's kind of what could I do to improve this picture? Um, I like it. It's done a good job so far. Um, the, I guess he could have like shot from a higher angle and maybe kind of this direction. So then these berries wouldn't be kind of stuck like with this flower bed because that can be a little bit distracting but you know i am being picky right so how would i change this so i'd probably just make these verticals a little bit straighter um so if i just did that and just makes things a little bit nicer to the eye and then i look at this window up here and i don't think that's necessary i don't think we need that and so if we cropped it um we can kind of bring it in um i've got it on rule of thirds grid because i always use rule of thirds um basically you want some subject on one of the lines of a third ideally kind of on the where the lines cross but any line is good so i think if we crop it like that that automatically makes it a little bit stronger um then it's just about kind of making sure the detail stays within the berries and then we maybe kind of bring the background down a little bit because it's if we make the berries jump out more then it'll be more aesthetically pleasing to the eye so what i would do is i'd just create a little filter radio filter and just kind of focus on the berries and then everything else kind of goes down a little bit kind of exposure wise because the it gets darker and then i just bring out the detail a little bit kind of just using this button that's called clarity and then for me it's pretty much there um it probably just needs i don't know to me it's just a tiny bit orange but no it's good I like it so that's your after let's have a look at before <coughs> oh what am i doing pressing wrong button um that should be far and that's your after so just very subtle changes but it's made a bit of a difference on it um see if i can find it with the crop um if i can do that what am i doing learn how to use this john um let me show you where history is if i got a history so that's where it was and then that's after so a little bit better right next one look at this interesting me teaching it looks like i'm teaching uh, on exposure and composition like it um it's kind of an action shot it's not much really i would change um like most of the buildings exposed quite well like this white here you can actually still read the detail and see the detail so it's exposed correctly um the composition's good for what it is it's like me just teaching so i don't think i'd do anything really maybe just bring the exposure down a tiny bit um just to make it stand out and bring the blacks down so there's a bit more contrast and then maybe just take it so it's not as yellow but yeah that's pretty much that it's an interesting picture um i don't know if it would be gain anything if we cropped it because these windows here don't do much although there's this little fella here look at him there yeah, he's got his head and everything um let's just have a look at a crop don't know if that'll work 
I might not. So if I crop to kind of nah reset. No, I think it needs to keep it because if we crop it too far, we'll lose this light, I like this light, and then we'll lose the story as well. So, yeah, good work. So, here's before, here's after. Tiniest, tiniest bit of exposure. Next one. Oh, look at this. So, I think Grant, and judging by this, he may have had abstract as his card. Um, and it's certainly abstract, isn't it? Yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. It's, it's great how he's used the scene differently than everyone else. So he's got the cafe here, which is probably shooting through the window. Then he's got the reflection here because cafe is written the right way up, but coffee shop is um, the wrong way. So interesting. So what can we do to enhance this? I think what I'd do is just try and bring the detail out a little bit more. So if I just put clarity up, a bit exposure and that is pretty much where we want to be um there's some interesting stuff happening in these shadows here so because it's so abstract if i pull the shadows out a little bit i think that just makes it a little bit different bring the kind of the highlights down a tiny bit and then yeah interesting like it good work um I don't think we need to do much else. Maybe bring, we want to keep these details here, but we'll just make it a bit darker. But yeah, good. So that's after, that's before. So as you can see, all it is is just bringing the details out. I've hardly changed the picture at all. And to be honest, I don't want to change pictures. Right, this one. Whoa very interesting mm, what's happening here right then so um a bit confused here what am i looking at um so looking at this it looks like the center of attention may be this um flower basket here because that looks like that's what's in focus so yeah that's probably where the action is We've got all this light here and all this shadow here. We've got these really, really bright highlights here. But they don't upset me that much. But this sign, because it's not the full thing, and this light here, I don't know if that works. So do we make a picture which is all about this flower bed? So let's, let's give it a little crop, eh? So if I crop it... And once again, if I use the rule of thirds, you see how this flower bed is actually now situated on the third. It should have a lot more impact, which it kind of does. So I think we do with that. So if we just bring the shadows, bring the highlights down a bit. Oh no, because this is just a JPEG, there's not much information to play with. So um, I can't really do a great deal. But yeah, I think that kind of works. Uh, I want the eye to be kind of be led straight to this flower bed really. So again, if I go for a radio filter and then just bring everything else down a little bit, darken it down, then that just makes it a bit more interesting, I think. Uh, yeah, so we've got kind of leading lines here that take you straight into this flower bed and uh, interesting colours so yeah it's sort of interesting how you can change a picture um, I try not to change pictures too much I try to get it right in camera but when needs must I um, so that's kind of after and then if we went to before that's there so all this this is doing nothing really um, but then if you kind of go oops go to there then it just takes your eye to this flower bed next right and push push here see what happens eh? i like it um i love the green the green's a beautiful color 
Um, and what Grant has done is is focused on kind of one area of this this um, push. Um, it looks like this is the most in focus. So what he's done is he's kind of used depth of field. So if I have a look at the information on it, he's shooting at f5, which is quite actually. I'm surprised it's actually show, showing as shallow depth of field as it is. And depth of field is kind of the amount of stuff that's in focus. But I like it. All it needs um, is literally just a bit of detail pumping into it. And that's it. Bit, bit of highlight, bit of shadow. And then let's get a little radio filter because that seems to be what I'm doing today. And there we go. So, yeah, love it. Um, that's after. Let's have a look at before. Before, after. So all I've done is brought the detail out. The colours are beautiful. Love, love that green. Um, but if you, you know, you just pump, pump it up a little bit with the exposure and then bring the detail out, it uh, has a lot of, a, it does a lot. Right, next. Ooh, moody. Moody staircase. It's a good staircase, this. Um, it's good when there's light on it as well. I might show some of that I took beforehand. Um, so, yeah, this to me, it just needs to be kind of straightened up. Um, I'd straighten it up to there. Because um, we've got... I just like the staircase. I like the moodiness. It's something you could imagine a horror film kind of here. wonder if what would happen if we take the bunting out. Um... We need, still need that. So that's looking moodier, isn't it? So if we kind of bring some detail out, make it even moodier, a bit darker. Look, we're getting moody now, aren't we? Um, yeah, it's looking good. Um, not a great deal we can do with it, really. Um, it's a staircase. There's not a great deal of light. So I think this probably needed a subject. So that's why I'm kind of messing around, walking down. Um, but it, it's all good. Um, yeah, this this um, window sill, this window is a bit distracting, um, but it's not the easiest thing to take out. Um, could do it in Photoshop um, quite quickly, I guess. Should we try it? Who knows, eh? Um, but again, it's not about you going out and buying software and things. It's about me teaching you sort of how to take a picture but if we just take it into photoshop and see see what goodness we've got nah. right so i just want to kind of get rid of this window i'll do it really 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 kind of rough and it might be rubbish so i just need to get that there to there um so yeah this probably be bad so I'm just doing this really, really rough, just cloning this window. Um, I'll tidy it up in a second. But I think the, the window just distracts from everything, you know? I think as soon as, it's not the best job in the world, is it really? Um, but for the purpose of what I need it for now, it'll do. Um, yeah. I can do better photoshopping than that, but uh -oh, it'll do a job but uh, so yeah it's kind of um that's what i go for i like it it's, it's moody it's a bit film noir isn't it um so if i just take that back into lightroom save that um so yeah i wonder what would happen if you black and white it black and white you could again to black and white things are uh, you you um you need a bit more light and contrast but yeah there's a potential some moodiness um but yeah i liked it i like these um i like this wall that leads you straight to the stairs and this like so you've got your eyes are looking from here to there and from there to there so it's all leading lines that take you to your subject right and next one oh look at this bench challenge um so Grant's actually shot through the bench instead of literally photographing a bench. So I like his thinking, thinks differently. 
creative. <coughs> he even gets extra points for having a blooming weirdo. What a nutter he was, eh? Um, yeah, probably be checking up on me now, won't I? Um, but yeah, we've um, we've got the subjects here. The only thing I would have liked to see is I would have liked to see uh, more separation between subjects because, like, I'm merging into Oliver and Oliver's merging into Katie and Lan's merging into Leslie um, and Weirdo's on his own like he should be. Um, but but yeah, it's um it's an interesting take. Good um good one for the bench challenge. Um, how would I change it? Not a lot. I'd just probably just do this, make, make the bench a bit darker and bring the subject out. So it's a bit more like voyeur. It's a bit like sort of what that weirdo would be doing. Right, final one, because I've been banging on a bit, Anna. Right, so this one, oh, interesting. Uh, ooh, what we're going to do with this, Grant? Uh, so we've got. I'm looking at this and I see all this, these cars and stuff, it's just clutter. Um, and it's not visually pleasing. I like the kind of the hands, like the hands of God and like the pin. Don't know what that represents. I'm sure it's a bit deep in Grant's mind, but um, how could we change this? Um, we could probably, what I would do is I'd just crop it. I'd change that <coughs> to a kind of a vertical crop because then you lose all the car stuff. I like this this like this like ticket above, and I like the hands. So literally just give it a quick exposure, pump the clarity up a bit, bring the darks down, and then whoops your uncle. Um, it looks a bit different. Let's have a look full screen, yeah. It's all right, isn't it? It's different. Um, but yeah, it's all about, all these photography thing is, is about looking different at things differently. You know, how can you stop, slow down and take a picture and, you know, everyone interprets everything differently. So yeah, that's uh, Grant's feedback.